Karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mlelo Lectures. Tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, yani biology, kemia, physics pamoja na mathematics kwa syllabus ya Tanzania kwa level za O level pamoja na advance. Usisahau kusubscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kengele ili uweze kupewa taarifa kwa kila video ambayo tutakuwa tunarusha. Lakini pia waweze kupata notes pamoja na maswali au kufanya discussion na wanafunzi wenzako kwenye group la Dr. Blelo Students. Bonyeza show more kwenye sehemu ya comment na utaziona linki za magrupu ambazo utafungua na Telegram. Kama unatumia kompyuta utafungua na Telegram desktop au utafungua na Telegram application kwa simu yako. Ukitaka kupata masomo mengine aliyoyafundishwa, bonyeza icon ya kwenye channel alafu itatafuta baada ya nenda kwenye playlist itakuletea topiki utachagua topiki unayotaka kusoma na utaanza kuangalia video bure kabisa nikutakie kipindi chema welcome back friends in today's session this is session 51 and we are going to continue our discussion and condition and today we are going to discuss about the pituitary gland pituitary gland now what you are saying that the pituitary is the small lead gray gland about the size of a pea and hanging from the base of the brain by a short stalk called the infundibulum connects pituitary gland to the hypothalamus kwa hiyo hii hapa inaitwa infundibulum ina connect pituitary gland to the hypothalamus kwa pituitary gland yenyewe inakuwa ni ndogo tu ni ndogo about the size of a pea kama njegele it is situated at the base of the brain in the bony cavity called cella trusica kwa hiyo pale at the base of the brain kuna kwa kuna mfupa unaoitwa cella trusica uh, if you reach in universities na ukiwa interested kwenye medicine uta utaifahamu zaidi sio tu utaifahamu kwa kuisikia au kuiona kwenye picha bali utaona kabisa utashika kabisa mfupa utaona kabisa kwamba this is cella trusica yani utaiona uh, katika lil kabisa kwamba this is cella trusica so cella trusica of sphenoid bone of skull and immediately above the roof of your mouth so immediately above the roof of uh, my mouth we have the cella trusica and then you have the pituitary gland hiyo unapata nini it is very important to know that because kama mpata labda accident mpata injury a uh, injury to the uh, pituitary gland which is the muscle gland is very dangerous kwa sababu it can alter many activities of the body and hence unaweza kujikuta you can't uh, continue uh, living in your normal physiology now despite its small size it control many of the uh, many of your feature such as your size yani your size manake ukubwa wako ukubwa wako pituitary gland secretes growth hormone your sex Uh, your metabolism and the rate at which you age yani vile ambavyo unakuwa mkubwa unazeka now the pituitary depends on the large extent upon the information received from the nearby hypothalamus to determine which hormone to produce and when pituitary sometimes it is referred to as master gland because it coordinates the production of hormone from other endocrine glands so uh, pituitary inategemea sana kwenye uh, kwenye kwenye hypothalamus. Kwa pituitary haifanyi kazi peke yake, anafanya kazi na hypothalamus. Inategemea hypothalamus. Hypothalamus ikimwambia pituitary kwamba now produce this ina produce na ikimwambia kwamba don't produce this it doesn't produce. Now the pituitary is divided anatomically into adeno hypophysis which is anterior lobe of pituitary gland and neuro hypophysis which is posterior lobe of pituitary gland. So don't get confused with the adeno hypophysis and the neuro hypophysis if you ask in the exam maybe if you ask it uh, list the hormones which are produced by the adeno hypophysis and their functions So adeno hypophysis simply it is anterior pituitary gland So ah uh, unatakiwa tu ujue angalau basic concept kwamba kwa nini inaitwa hii adeno kwa nini inaitwa neuro hii adeno Adeno hypophysis it is because adeno means gland. Adeno means gland. So adeno hypophysis hii ni kwa sababu yenyewe inatengeneza hormones. Anterior lobe of pituitary gland inatengeneza 
hormones lakini new hypothesis na adeno hypothesis yani yenyewe nature ya nature ya cell zake za anterior pituitary gland they are glandular in nature lakini kwa neuro hypothesis which is posterior pituitary gland yenyewe haitengenezi hormone remember i told you before kwenye hypothalamus kwamba the posterior pituitary gland tend to store the hormones produced by the hypothalamus kwa hiyo hii ukiangalia origin yake kwanza lazima ujue kwamba pituitary gland posterior and anterior zina different origin so the origin of anterior pituitary gland it is uh, it is yani glandular in nature wakati origin ya posterior pituitary gland it is neural in nature kwa hiyo posterior pituitary gland ina origin tofauti kabisa na anterior pituitary gland kwa hiyo that is why it is called adeno and another it is called neuro so the anterior pituitary gland is the region of glandular tissue which communicates with the hypothalamus by means of thin blood vessel mm. forming hypothalamo hypophyseal portal system the posterior part is the nervous origin and it is it is in effect an outgrowth of hypothalamus it uh it is communication with the hypothalamus is by nerves by nerves that is axons of hypothalamic neurons rather than blood vessels or even ndivyo ambavyo tunaweza kaeleza kuhusu ah uh, hypothalamus now let's look about the anterior pituitary i mean even ndivyo ambavyo tunaweza kaeleza kuhusu pituitary tuangalie kuhusu anterior pituitary this portion of pituitary gland produces six hormones produces six hormones Most have other endocrine glands as their target organs except growth hormone. Kwa hiyo most of these kati of six hormone most of them they have uh, other endocrine glands kama target organs. These hormones are called eutrophic hormones stimulating the activity of their respective endocrine glands. They are called eutrophic hormones. Now the only non-trophic hormone is growth hormone which rather than influencing other endocrine gland affect body tissue in general so growth hormone in affect other endocrine gland but also in affect body tissues in general the production of this hormone is determined by small peptide molecules produced by the hypothalamus and passed to the pituitary via small connecting blood vessels kwa hiyo production ya hormone kwenye kwenye hii anterior pituitary gland inategemea sana hormone ambazo zitakuwa secreted from from the hypothalamus inategemea sana hormone zitakazokuwa secreted from the hypothalamus now the release of growth hormone and prolactin can both be stimulated and emitted by hypothalamus while the release of other four hormones shown in table yani follicular stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone thyroid stimulating hormone pamoja na adenocorticotrophic hiyo hapo adenocorticotrophic adenocorticotrophic hormone is regulated by negative feedback of hormones from target glands acting on receptors in the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary gland kwa hiyo kuna utofauti hapo kwamba growth hormone yenyewe na prolactin stimulation yake inatoka wapi kwenye hypothalamus is stimulated and inhibited by hypothalamus kwa maana yake tutakao tuna growth hormone releasing factor tutakao tuna growth hormone release inhibiting hormone growth hormone release inhibiting hormone hapo kwenye prolactin na tutakuwa na prolactin releasing factor na prolactin inhibiting factor lakini hizo nyingine zote tunakuwa tuna only factor ambayo ya kulirease control yake inafanyika by negative feedback na nikwambia negative feedback tutaenda ku discuss watu kwenye homeostasis just stay with me subscribe the channel and then utazidi kupata updates tutaenda ku discuss other topics kwa hiyo ah uh, 
Tuwache kusema ni kwamba Growth Hii ndo temu ambayo na summarize Hizo homo ni zote pamoja na Function Hapa hui ni homo ni anaya equal is by Hypothalamus Hapa until ya pituitary gland Response ya pituitary Hapa site of action Kwa hono wana growth homo ni leasing factor Hau jina ingine ya hitua Somatocrini Anasabisha Release ya nani Ya growth homo Release ya growth homo Huku Most tissues Site of action Most tissues Alafu Growth homo Release Inhibiting homo Somatostatin Huku Anafanya nini Inhibition of growth homo Secretion Action yake Ni most tissues Tuna prolactin leasing factor Hapa prolactin kwenye pituitary Over in the mammary And mammary glands Action yake Prolactin inhibiti factor Kwa hizi mbili Ndizo ambazo stimulation na inhibition na kwa By hypothalamus Lakini hizi nyingine ni just stimulation Unona Gonadotrophin leasing hormone In some text buko Meantika nani Luteinizing hormone leasing hormone Sasa uyo hapa Anasabisha release ya two hormone yuko Follicle stimulating hormone pamoja na luteinizing hormone Kwa huku kwenye hypothermas natoka mmoja huku wanakuwa hormone wa wili Haya kuna thyroid Thyrotropin leasing hormone huku Thyroid stimulating hormone Thyroid gland Adenocorticotrophin leasing factor Adenocorticotrophic hormone Kwa adenocorticotrophin sometimes Some little chabuksi utakuta menika adenocorticotrophic ni kitu kile kile adenocorticotrophic adenocorticotrophin ni kitu kile kile. Kwa hiyo hizo ndio ukiziangalia hapo ni six hormones hizo. Unaona? Na 1 2 3 4 5 5 6 7. Ni kama 7 lakini Okay, don't get confused because of that 6. Hiyo ni kwa sababu tu ya uh, difference in textbook ambavyo huwa zinaandika. Lakini pia we have the Uh, posterior Posterior pituitary gland Posterior pituitary gland This originates an extension of the brain That is a hypothalamus It do not It do not It do not Upon a not Oh It do not synthesize any hormone But it stores and releases two hormones That is antidiuretic hormone ADH or any other name which is called vasopressin and oxytocin. We will discuss here uh, in detail about the antidiuretic hormone when we will be discussing about the osmoregulation and oxytocin when we will be discussing about the reproduction. ADH is released in response to fall in water content of the bloody plasma and leads to an increase in permeability to water from a bit to water of the distal and collecting tubules of the nephron in the kidney so that water is retained in the blood plasma a reduced volume of concentration urine is excreted oxytocin causes contraction of uterus during birth and injection of milk from nipples so oxytocin has two effects contraction of uterus and the ejection of milk from nipples While ADH, it is major function is regulation of water. So ADH and oxytocin are produced by neurosecretory cells, bodies lying in the hypothalamus and pass down the nerve fibers. These neurosecretory cells are much more specialized than those connected by the uh, secretion of the than those connected with the secretion of uh, releasing factors, and they form structures. consisting of a solid synapse attached to capillary and surrounded by connective tissue kama ambavyo tuliona diagram kule juu kwamba is <coughs> neurosecretory cell they are more specialized this compared to the neurosecretory cells uh, involved in the release of uh, factors yani zile ambazo zinahusika kwenye anterior pituitary gland kwa hiyo unaweza kuona hapa na different function of hormones secreted by pituitary gland Tabu ya juu ilikuwa summarize the uh, factors released by pituitary gland, hormone uh, released by, I mean factors released by hypothalamus, 
common release by pituitary gland and then site of action lakini hapa ndio sikuona kwamba we have the anterior pituitary gland and you have hormones up anterior pituitary gland upper posterior pituitary gland hizi ndizo hormones na hizi ndizo summary ya function zake this table summarizes function of all hormones so for example thyroid hormone has stimulate growth of thyroid gland i mean uh thyroid stimulating hormone growth ya thyroid gland pamoja na uh production ya thyroxine hormone adrenocorticotrophic growth ya adrenal gland pamoja na stimulation ya uh adrenal cortex to produce it is a hormone that is cortisol or in some books cortisol pia kuna follicle stimulating hormone initiate cyclic changes in ovary that is development of glafian follicle tena kuiona hiyo kwenye reproduction how the glafian follicle is formed na pia initiation of sperm formation is in testes kwa hiyo baadhi ya watu wanajua kwamba follicle stimulating hormone is present only in female no kwa sababu wengi they know about the uh, ovarian cycle na wanajua tu kwamba glafian follicle bas follicle stimulating hormone follicle kwa sababu glafian follicle ziko kwenye female no even in male we have follicle stimulating hormone and they are involved in the initiation of sperm formation then you have luteinizing hormone luteinizing hormone or sometimes it is called interstitial cell stimulating hormone uh, because the cells which are producing luteinizing hormone they are called in, in interstitial cell i mean the the target cell of luteinizing hormone they are called interstitial cell the cells which are producing testosterone so uh luteinizing hormone because it target into the interstitial cell in the testes it is sometimes called the interstitial cell stimulating hormone so it called the release of ovum from the ovary and consequent development of follicle into corpus luteum hiyo ni kwenye female na kwenye male it is stimulates secretion of testosterone from interstitial cell in the testes so sometimes this question comes with the question of reproduction or sometimes uh, comes with the question of endocrine system unauliza utaje the role of follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone both in a male and female So for example apa follicle stimulating hormone in female cyclic changes in male initiation of sperm formation luteinizing hormone in female release of ovary and development of corpus luteum in male stimulates the secretion of testosterone from interstitial cell uh the last is growth hormone growth hormone promote growth of skeleton and muscles also it control protein synthesis and the general body metabolism however all of these hormones they have many functions these are just the basic and the major function of hormones other functions will be discussed in detail when we discuss one gland after another uh in terms of uh, posterior pituitary gland you have antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin antidiuretic hormone over suppression tend to reduce the quantity of water lost in kidneys and urine also it reduces the blood pressure by constriction of arteries However it is stimulated many things such as thirsty it is stimulated by the adrenergic hormone over suppression as how we shall discuss later uh, oxytocin it induces uh it induces perturbation uh, that is birth by causing uterine contraction and it induces a uh, lactation that is secretion of milk from nipples kwa hiyo that the function of uh pituitary hormones in the next lecture i will discuss in detail about the growth hormone kwa sababu ni kwambia kwamba growth hormone yenyewe haiendi kufanya kazi kwenye glands kwa hiyo hatuna wakati ambao tuta discuss growth hormone in the next video i will take my uh, my, my 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 lecture through growth hormone and it is the physiological effects of the growth hormone and then we will discuss on the other glands thank you everybody don't forget to subscribe the channel for more uh, updates on coordination and other topics of chemistry physics uh, biology and mathematics thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel